We had a really nice day on Sunday going out through the woods as a family, uh, making sure that all of our trails are maintained. But today we are back to business as usual on the house build. So it looks like Josh remembered to bring home staples and our clamps. So we're going to be knocking off some of the stuff on our punch list that we've been telling you guys about. And then we are also going to start working on the shed for all our solar supplies. Okay, so Josh, do, are we tackling, I don't think I can see you with this light. Are we um, tackling the small tasks first or do we want to go out and plan what's going to happen with the let's, solar shed? Let's bang these uh, small tasks out real quick. It shouldn't take too long. Let's get them done and then uh, we'll go outside and figure out where we want to put everything at. Okay. Punch list item number one. They love romance. We're not big country, you got this. Push. Oh my god. I thought you had a little muscle. <laughs> I forgot this is that activity where I make that weird face. Oh. <laughs> the other activities make the weird face also. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Punch list item two, missing clamp. All right. <laughs> Clamp's done. Romex stapling is done. Next on the list is deleting this box right here and going with uh, three single boxes. The reason behind that, we installed a three gang box for three switches. We're starting to get three switches. We're actually going to have them uh, going vertical mm -hmm. like this, one, two, and three. The reason behind that is we're going to put a uh, two by right here and leave this open for glass. Yes. Um, by having this three gang box in here, it shrinks that glass up. We want to get the most visible glass possible. Yes, because this entire back wall is going to be glass so like the triangle behind Josh this rectangle all of this up here and then same over here on this side all glass so gotta switch switches out and get ready for glass install coming up sometime yep. next month yep exactly okay let's do it So we have two sets of wires right here. We have travel for travelers for our cove lights. These cove lights are actually going to go in the wood and be indirect light that go up on both sides and light up the ceiling and it will in turn glow and then light up the uh, floor right here. The next set of wires is for the uh, chandeliers that are going to hang. Got two chandeliers hanging down also we're going to do. And uh, we have a third switch. I'm going to steal power from this receptacle right here and it's going to be for the outside lights out right here hanging off the side of the house. Yes, because there will be a deck off the front here. Yeah. Go ahead and take the power out of this receptacle box right here. We'll bring it up, bring it to this switch right here. This switch will operate the lights that go up the peak. So that means we gotta bring a switch leg out from this box, goes down under the house, comes back up, hits the exterior light fixtures. Waymo done.
box down there. It's going to be a driver downstairs. It's going to be LEDs coming out that wrap it up the driver. I got enough Romex. I'm good to go. I'm going to walk this thing off and that should be good. What do you think, Aaron? All right, so that's good enough. Let's go ahead and see these bad boys in real fast. There it goes. Good to go. Get guys away. Let's frame this guy up real fast because I'm wind here. Measure that up. What we got? I have. Uh, it's called 87 and 8. Why not? So Josh went ahead and finished up the uh, little bit of electrical that we had going in, on inside. Um, so that's awesome to have that knocked out. And now we are on to the solar shed project that we have going on. It's not really a solar shed, it's a shed. That's true. However, it's going to house all of our solar, yes, well, all some of our, all of our solar. All our equipment. So yeah. it's going to house the, uh, the inverter, the battery charger, and the batteries. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're doing that is because we don't want the lithium ion batteries inside the house, just in case something happens. Um, they are known to catch fire sometimes so mm -hmm. just alleviate get rid of all the risk put it out in the shed yes so along with what's going to be in that shed it's going to be there's going to be the uh, pressure tank also for mm -hmm. the well yeah. and that shed's going to be a concrete slab mm -hmm. and everybody's thinking we're going to get a lot of crap for us and the battery's going to get too cold mm -hmm. the pressure tank's going to freeze all that nonsense which is all true right but we're putting radiant heat in the concrete floor and that's what's going to keep that thing heated up to a nice temperature yes so that's so, it. Yep, so that's the plan. So um, what we need to do today is get out here, clear that spot, and stake it out because, mm -hmm. as we had mentioned in another video, Josh has his week coming up where we are going to be hitting that project hard, trenching everything in, yep. and um, getting it all built. So now is the time to make sure that we have it where we want it to be because it's going to be permanent, and we really have to plan around for like the bedroom wing of the house and the garage and the other stuff that's going to be put around here so that we're, you know, long-term permanently happy with where it's at. Yes. Well, um, with Aaron's record, we'll probably tear it down and put it somewhere else. <laughs> hey, you picked the paint color. I like the paint color. <laughs> Do you not? I'm surprised we didn't go with neon yellow now. Well, I mean, you know? it's just like you, it grew on me, you know what I mean? <laughs> so. It was love at first sight. It was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you, so are you ready to start this now? Yeah, let's go. All right. ninjas are here. <laughs> Hi 
Alright, so we went ahead and uh, took the topsoil off real quick with the tractor. It's not completely level, but I think it's probably going to be good enough. Mm -hmm. um, we went ahead and staked the four corners of the shed. So the next step for us is we're going to go ahead and uh, dig in some uh, turn down footers. So keep in mind it's going to be a concrete slab, the whole thing. So we'll have turn down footers going down. Yep. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. Got the electrical done. Um, got this prepped. So uh, we're getting close to getting started on this which is going to be awesome because we're kind of in that place where we need like certain things to happen before we can move ahead to the next thing and it's yeah. a bunch of like little things that build up to get to the next thing mm -hmm. and we're trying to get to the point of having all of the electric in and, water, and hooked up everything hooked up and rock and roll yes because then we can really get to work on the inside and uh it'll be a lot easier actually having power inside there and lights which yeah. we don't have. We have like ridiculous task lights right now. So yeah, it's kind of lame. So yeah. So I guess that's it, right? Yeah. That's time, it. time to call it a night. I'm feeling tired, a little bit burnt out here. Mm -hmm. Trying to hang in there. It'll be all right, right? It'll be fine. <laughs> you always are. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We will uh, see you next time. Yep. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> That right there is the face that you give when people think they can see the tears in your eyes. Really? The hurt. That's, <sighs> yes. What is that? What's the look you're making right now? Um, it's a look of disappointment and disgust. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> you're just disappointed and disgusted with yourself for not being able to come up with a comeback? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Josh, you can try again next time. Uh, that's good. You know, Aaron, you ever heard of safety first? You should have been wearing gloves, you know what I mean? Josh, you need to learn about the five Ps. Proper, Proper planning, planning prevents poor performance. performance. I coined that term, not you. No. Sounds like a plan. You're, you're lucky you married an electrician. I'm lucky you know that or not. Oh, I know that. You know that, right? Yes. And I married, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever I married. You're my favorite person in the whole world. Stop. Really? You buy me that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. So what was that you were going to say about who you married? Oh, you're, fan you're fantastic, obviously. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> you know? Nobody cherishes you more than I do. Nobody. <laughs> okay. <laughs>